Sean Sewell with ingimit.com in the beautiful mountains of Colorado, per usual. Got a really fun comparison video for you between my two favorite down-like synthetic insulation puffy jackets. Both of these are lightweight, both of these are extremely packable and very versatile. This one I'm wearing, the blue one, is the Outdoor Research Super Strand LT. We have a detailed review on this from December of last year. I've been using it a lot, so I've got good experience with it. And this is the brand new, as of fall 2022, Patagonia Micro Puff Jacket. Now, I had the original Micro Puff from four years ago, and that's still going strong. This is the updated version of it. And we have a detailed review of the Micro Puff, as well as a Micro Puff versus the down sweater, in case you're curious between down or synthetic. So. Let's get into this fun, fun comparison now. First and foremost, start with sizing to give you some reference. I am six foot one, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. Both of these jackets are extra large. Let's talk about the super strand since I'm already wearing it. Again, extra large, it uses a 12 denier ultralight material that is nice and slippery. As you can see right here, it'll slide nicely under a hard shell and or slide nicely over a base layer. Always ideal. Two zippered hand pockets. You can see the placement right here. Backpack straps will hit right about here. So mostly useful with backpack straps on. And um, there's no Napoleon pocket. Hood is generous. It's a good hood. Helmet compatible, over a hat compatible, or just over your head. It's a nice scuba hood. On the inside, I love it drop pockets and also I'm shooting this up here on purpose so you can see the sunlight behind me so you can see through the material of these jackets because they're ultra light but you do get your two sizable drop pockets and then the jacket will stuff up into its left hand pocket and I'll put a video and video below or photo below of it stuffed up I like the shape of the outdoor research if you are going to use a hand pocket it stuffs up very nicely and um, it's lightweight I think for the extra large, it's something like 12 ounces or so. So very, very um, user friendly. Again, you can see the sunlight coming through it. Pretty cool stuff. And it looks nice. Uh, MSRP is 220 if I'm not mistaken. So and then here's me without anything, just to get reference of uh, my build and chest size and all that, if it's helpful to you. Up next is the Patagonia Micro Puff. Uh, this is a, has a new material, and again, that material much like the outdoor research is going to be ultra light i believe it's 20 down here in this one and it uh, is slippery plays nicely with other layers so there is the fabric again you notice the quilting patterns are very similar for this synthetic down like installations the plumophil is what they call theirs and then just like the outdoor research elastic cuff elastic on the hem you do get an adjustable hem that's one thing you don't get with the outdoor research is there's no adjustable hem although it is elastic as you see here which i do like so you do get this is the only thing i can think of that's different is you get adjustable hem right there hand pockets are a little bit higher not much higher but definitely plays nicely with backpack straps for hiking climbing backpacking split boarding skiing all the fun stuff no napoleon pocket as there shouldn't be the hood i feel like it goes a little bit higher you tell me what you think it is a little windy Again, non-adjustable hood, will go over a helmet or over a hat or just bare head. Great scuba style hood. Uh, love the material, nice, it's recycled material. Please a net plus. And just like the outdoor research on the inside, you do get drop pockets right there on both sides. So this one material is a little bit thicker. Uh, so you're not seeing as much translucence as you were with the outdoor research <laughs> right there. But um, the fit is very much the same. The fit is the same. The warmth is about the same. If I had to guess, um, just only because I've had the outdoor research for a year and I've used it a lot in colder temperatures. Close I got last time was about 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And I used this over the hybrid, which will be out in 2023. And I was good to go. Same thing with the, the outdoor research. It was fantastic over just uh, a fleece, basically. 
Uh, they both have the nice cuffs that I love so much that you can just roll up like that right there. Hood is good, uh, weight is good. They both stuff up to their own size. I think that the Outdoor Research actually stuffs up a little bit smaller. Um, if you refer back to that photo and video I shot of the stuffed up, I think it plays a little nicer. The big difference is gonna be price. 220 and I believe 300 for this guy. So a bit more for the Patagonia, but of course Patagonia makes great stuff, putting the money where their mouth is and all the great news you probably heard about Yvonne and the company last week. So there you have it. Patagonia Micro Puff, fantastic Plumafil down-like synthetic insulation that packs up nicely into its own pocket. Outdoor Research Super Strand LT, which same thing basically, just a little bit less expensive. Both great companies, Patagonia doing great things, Outdoor Research making great quality gear. We'll have a lot more reviews on Outdoor Research and Patagonia as we get into winter here for backcountry skiing, split boarding, winter camping, hiking, all the fun stuff that we enjoy doing and enjoy sharing with you. And definitely, definitely consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date. We have meetings with Outdoor Research next week as well as Gregory Backpacks, about 40 companies all in. So this next week or two is going to be chock full of really fun 15 minute interviews with all these outdoor companies showcasing their 2023 gear. Awesome. So if you want to see that, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to see more content from Patagonia, we'll have a lot more coming up as well. Uh, their spring 2023 line we're testing out currently, uh, other riders besides myself. So stay tuned for all that fun content. And if you ever have any questions, of course, put those in the comments below. And if you ever have any comments or experience with any of these garments, and you want to share it with us and or our international audience, please get that dialogue going. Put that in the comments below. We love learning from you. We love learning from each other and sharing our insights. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engearment. Hopefully you find this content helpful. And until next time, take care.